Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multi-step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 1, minus 6x, minus 6 is greater than negative 11, minus 7x, okay? Well, from there, what I can do is let's go combine our like terms on each side. So I have the negative 1 and minus a 6 there. So that's going to give me, I'm going to put the negative 6 out front, negative 1 minus a 6 is at negative 7, is greater than negative 11 minus 7x. So now let's bring, I'm going to bring our, my x's over to the left and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 7x to both sides. And I'm going to do this all in one step, okay? I'm going to add a 7 to both sides as well. Okay? That leaves me a negative 6x plus 7x is a positive 1x is greater than. And then negative 11 plus a positive 7 comes out to be a negative 4. Okay? So now we actually we kind of did like two steps in one step. We have two parts, but uh, make sure they all, we all lined up the right numbers and stuff. But we have x here is greater than a negative 4. So now I can graph this. Okay? So x is greater than negative 4. Let's go by 2. So 0, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6 and positive 2 and positive 4, and positive 6, and it's making even negative 8. Okay, so we said x is greater than a negative 4. Well, it's not equal to negative 4, it's just greater than, so I have an open circle at negative 4. Then I need to do is I need to put my arrow to the right, because we said x was greater than that negative 4. And now we have it. We have our graph here that matches our inequality, which is x is greater than a negative 4. So let's recap. We had negative 1 minus 6x minus 6 is greater than negative 11 minus 7x. I then needed to uh, combine my terms here, so I had negative, or combine the numbers, negative 1 minus 6 uh, came out to be a negative 7. And then, what I ha did there then, I brought all my x's to one side and all my numbers to the other side. So I added a 7x to both sides, eliminating them here, and added a 7 to both sides, eliminating them there. Made sure I matched up with the corresponding number, so negative 11 plus 7 came out to be a negative 4. And negative 6x plus a positive 7x is a positive 1x. And that was it. Actually, by doing that, I kind of saved some space by showing all my work, giving me x is greater than a negative 4. <clears throat> From there, I need to graph it. So I have an open circle, sorry, open circle at negative 4 because x is not equal to negative 4. And then I'll put my arrow to the right because we said x is greater than negative 4. So now my graph matches my final answer, which is x is greater than a negative 4.